walking off the job. Nearly 200 court workers are striking across the city of San Francisco, and it could throw some cases happening right now in flux today. Thanks for joining us for Midday Live. I'm Julian Glover. And I'm Kristen Z. This is happening at three locations, the Civic Center Courthouse, the Juvenile Justice Center, and the San Francisco Hall of Justice. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland is standing by live there now. And Lena, what are you hearing from workers? What are their demands? Well, Julian, the workers you see right here behind me on the picket line are courtroom clerks, and they're calling for things like more staffing and better training. And although today is technically only a one-day strike, they tell me if their concerns are not taken seriously at the bargaining table, they plan to strike again. In the San Francisco Superior Court System, courtroom clerks are often the glue holding the justice system together, with judges depending on their work. I mean, we are, we're the fact checkers. We are the, we are the last line of defense to make sure that all the T's are crossed and I's are dotted and that, uh, and that oversights don't happen. But on Thursday morning, around 200 courtroom clerks walked off the job on strike. It, it, we're just drowning. We are literally, we've been treading water. Angelica Young is a deputy courtroom clerk. She says staffing, technology, and training issues are leading to a massive backlog in the courts, delaying both civil and criminal cases, and causing more than 70 misdemeanor cases to be thrown out. We want to just be at the table and have them understand to give us what we need to do our job. Training, staffing, um, technology that is actually efficient. As far as impacts, courts are staying open with the help of management employees. In a statement, the court executive officer, Brandon Riley, says it is unfortunate that SEIU has decided to disrupt court services after our many hours of negotiations and a mediation session to reach a fair contract that reflects the economic impacts from the state's reduction in funding. He said the state cut the court's budget by $2.5 million this fiscal year. An institution like this that doesn't bother training its employees and that obviously does not care if they are serving the public, which I think is one of the cornerstones of our criminal justice, of our justice system. To not care about that is ridiculous, is ridiculous, embarrassing. Although union leaders say this is only planned to be a one day strike, if court management doesn't get the message, they say they're ready to walk again. If they don't want to budge, honestly, we can shut this down because not to put too fine on a uh, point on it, um, if there aren't clerks in your courtroom and there aren't court reporters in your courtroom, you don't have a courtroom. And this action is impacting the high-profile murder trial of Cash App founder Bob Lee. The court reporter on that case actually came outside and joined these workers here on the picket line. ABC 7 News reporter Melanie Woodrow, who has been covering that trial for us, says all attorneys on that case went home early. Live in San Francisco, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.